Good evening, I'm Kevin Christopher. And I'm Nancy Cox. Thank you for joining us at 11. No spending cuts, but a couple of new taxes. That's the message Governor Andy Bashir delivered to the legislature tonight. In laying out his $23 billion budget, the governor highlighted his top priorities, education, health care, and pensions. But Republicans are complaining about being shut out of the process. LEX 18's Mike Valenti has tonight's big story at 11. Governor Andy Bashir calls it an education first budget. So an investment in education is an investment into forever changing our future. This investment must start with our teachers. The investment comes in the form of a $2,000 salary increase for teachers across the state. The governor also wants to restore teacher loan forgiveness and teacher scholarship programs, plus provide $18 million for school safety. That's every dollar the Kentucky School Board Association said they needed for statewide security upgrades. Bashir's plan also fully funds Medicaid and Medicaid expansion, the pension system, and gives state employees a 1% raise each year. Those are just some of the highlights of the budget, which avoids spending cuts for the first time in 14 years. To pay for it, the administration wants to dip into four buckets, one of which is new revenue. This is assuming they'll be able to get sports betting passed, as well as a proposed cigarette tax and vaping tax unveiled tonight. News Senate President Robert Stivers was hearing for the first time. I've been here a long time and, and I don't recall any time that the press has been briefed and we haven't. The first time we had any knowledge of the subject matter was an hour ago. Stivers and House Speaker David Osborne aimed their frustration mostly at the process, noting that the governor held a briefing for media earlier in the day but lawmakers had no advanced knowledge. Not a single legislator uh, in the body, uh, majority or minority, was briefed on, on this budget uh, prior to it, uh, it hitting the floor just a little while ago. So I, I find that be just a little uh, disconcerting. Osborne also said Bashir's budget doesn't go far enough on school safety, noting it only addresses the $18 million for school building upgrades. I think to choose to, to ignore the mental health side of this is, is uh, woefully short. But as both leaders made clear, this is just a proposal. The Republican-controlled legislature has the final say. Ultimately, it will be our, our product. Per the Constitution. In Frankfurt, Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.